Okay, in this uh, video we're going to look at uh, simple um, angles and their character. Okay, so the uh, first thing we need to uh, make sure you understand is the uh, parts of an angle. All right, so I've drawn a, uh, an angle here. This is an acute angle, okay, which uh, you'll get a little more information on later. Uh, and you'll see that I've marked various bits. I've marked uh, this part here, I've marked this part, and I've marked this part. Okay, so uh, around here, I have uh, some key vocabulary uh, that I'm going to now identify for you on here. Okay, so uh, let's start with um, the arms. Okay, these are actually the arms here, okay, and here. Okay, so uh, these straight lines that come along here on any angle are called the arms. Okay? Right, interior angle. We're looking at that now. The interior angle is marked by this blue part here. Okay, now it's green. The vertex is this part right here, the corner. Uh, what you would uh, might call a corner is actually, for angles, it's actually called the vertex. And the exterior angle is marked by this black uh, line here. And that is, the, that is the angle on the outside of the angle. Sorry, that is the measure of the size of the angle on the outside. All right. So again, uh, interior angle is here. This is the interior angle here. And the exterior angle is marked by this line here. Okay. Okay, so the first uh, angle that we're going to look at, and the one that you need to, uh, you'll probably see the most of, is the acute angle. Uh, and the acute angle is always less than 90 degrees. Okay, always less than 90 degrees. It doesn't matter uh, in which position it is. For example, this is an acute angle, that's an acute angle, that's an acute angle, that's an acute angle. You can see that the interior angles are all different, okay? But basically, as long as the angle is less than 90 degrees, it is an acute angle, all right? And it's very important that you remember this because when you are using a protractor, and if you can't remember what a protractor is, I'll do a rough picture of one. Um, protractor is like a semicircular thing here with a whole bunch of lines along the outside and usually a protractor has two scales okay uh, there will be a zero and it will get bigger going this way okay so it will be 180 when it gets to here but then there's usually a zero here as well and it gets bigger it goes 100 and it goes to 180 degrees here, okay? Uh, now, what you have to remember is that uh, you need to know whether you're dealing with an acute angle uh, and therefore less than 90 degrees in order to help you decide whether you use this scale or this scale here, all right? You'll just get better at it with practice, okay? Let's Okay, so we have an obtuse a set of obtuse angles here. We have the arms, we have the interior angles marked by red, and you can see each of these obtuse angles is different, uh, but they all have um, a couple of characteristics. First, um, they're always more than 90 degrees, okay? The other characteristic is that they're always smaller, always smaller, than 180 degrees. Okay? All right. Let's go on. Okay, so these two are pretty straightforward. That's why they're uh, both on the same page. This is the, the right angle. This is basically a corner angle. And you can see that uh, they each have a little box identifying that they are a right angle. Uh, if you ever see a uh, an angle which looks like it's a corner but it doesn't have the box in it 
Uh, you should not take it for granted that it's a right angle. You need to measure it with a protractor to be sure. Uh, you should know a right angle is always 90 degrees. It's never less and never more. Okay? So, um, <clears throat> as I say, that should be review. Uh, a straight line. A straight line is just that. It's a straight line, and you can see that it's got the two arms. It's got the vertex here and the, in, uh, the interior angle marked by red. But really, a straight line is just a line. And uh, they are always 180 degrees. Exactly. All right, let's go on. Okay, a reflex angle. Uh, you won't see too much of this in year four, but you do start to see it in year five and uh, definitely in year six. Uh, you've got your uh, arms here, and you've got your vertex here, 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 and here. And you've got the, uh, the angle that you're measuring here, okay? Now, um, this is actually, uh, it looks like it's measuring the outside, but really it's measuring the inside of the, inside of the angle. Just remember that whenever you see something like these red lines, that's the angle you've got to measure. All right. Uh, reflex angles are uh, always... more sorry my pens are not working more than 180 degrees all right um, and always smaller than 360 okay all right, so that's a reflex angle. And uh, again, you won't see too much of that in year four, but it's good to know for later anyway. Okay, all right, let's go on. Let's do a quick review now. All right, so we have this angle here. Um, we've got the two arms, we've got the vertex, we've got the interior angle marked. What uh, kind of an angle is that? Okay, so I want you to uh, answer that one. Uh, again, we've got another angle here, the arms are marked here, vertex is here, angle you're measuring is here, and what sort of an angle would that be? Another question, we have an angle that is 45 degrees, you've measured it, but you're not sure whether what kind of an angle is it. Is it an acute, obtuse, reflex, straight line, right angle, what is it? And again, we have another angle, 110 degrees. What kind of an angle is that? And 220 degrees, what kind of an angle is that? Okay, so stop the video. Uh, work out the answers to these questions. Then restart the video, and we'll go very quickly through the answers. Okay? Okay, in the case of uh, this angle here, this is clearly an acute angle because it's um, got a very small angle. Um, area indicated by the uh, red line. So this is going to be an acute angle. Oop. Acute. Um, and the next one is uh, clearly a reflex. The 45 degrees, that's clearly an acute angle because it's uh, smaller than 90 degrees. So that's another acute angle. The 110, uh, that's going to be obtuse because it's more than 90 degrees. So it's not an acute angle and it's not a right angle. And 220 degrees, that's clearly, again, uh, bigger than an acute angle, bigger than a right angle because it's more than 90 degrees, but it's also more than a straight line. So that means that it must be a reflex reflex angle. Okay, I hope you found this video helpful. Sorry it's a little bit longer than usual. Good luck.